my name is Nate Niehaus, and I will be interviewing Clara Barton, who founded the Red Cross and the National First Aid Associ Association of America. Well, look, here she comes now. <laughs> Welcome, Clara Barton. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. When were you born? I was born on December 25th, 1821. Wow, wouldn't it be cool to have your birthday on Christmas? It was okay. <laughs> Tell us a little about yourself as a child. I was very smart. I started school when I was four. I impacted my teacher, my teacher on the first day of school by spelling the word artichoke and so solving tough math, math problems. Wow, that is impressive. Now moving on. Was there anything major that happened when you were a kid? Yes. At a very young age, age 11, I knew I wanted to take care of people. While my brother was building a barn, he was injured, and I became his nurse. Cool. Did you ever have a job as a child? Yes, I did do that, but most of the people didn't have a lot of money to pay me. I asked my father to give them some. I also educated needy families by teaching the kids how to read and write. Wow, that was very kind of you to do that. What happened to you at the beginning of the Civil War? I was 40 years old when the Civil War was happening. When soldiers came to protect the nation's capital, they got attacked by Baltimore mobs. Many people were injured, and the hospitals were full, so my sister and I took matters into our own hands by taking the wounded to our nearby house. Wow, it would be hard to care for all those people. Now, did anything else happen after that? Yes. My friends and family I asked my friends and family members so close and food for the soldiers. After that, I wanted to take the supplies directly to the back. That is how I became a nurse during the Civil War. Wow, you risked your life to help others. Did you ever get injured? Yes. I escaped death. Once when taking care of a soldier on the battlefield, I was almost shot. However, the soldier I was caring for was shot in the bed. Oh, why? What happened after the Civil War? I helped find missing soldiers. Did you ever go to a different country? Yes. I went to Switzerland and nursed soldiers. We set up hospital tents on the battlefield, and outside of the tents we hung a special flag with the Red Cross on. We became known as the International Red Cross. What happened after you went to Switzerland? I returned in 1873 to New England. My sister Sally had cancer. I nursed her for six weeks, but didn't like the cold, and returned to Washington, D.C. Sally died two months later. I went into depression, which is a really, really sad feeling. What made you get out of your depression? On Memorial Day, people put flowers in front of my house. I was touched by their kindness. I decided to go back to work. For the next four years, I published letters in the newspaper. In 1881, the American Red Cross, which is a group that helps others during wartime, and I, I founded the American Red Cross, which is a group that helps others during the wartime and after disaster. I have heard of that group before. What did you do after that? I went to Cuba to help soldiers in the Spanish-American War. You sure have taken care of a lot of people. What was the famous quote of yours? My place is anywhere between the bullet and the hospital. It's time to go. The next time I hear about the Red Cross, I'll think of you, Clara Barton. Thank you for coming. Clara Barton died on April 10, 1912 because of pneumonia. She was 90 years old.